Welcome to Radio Ojo and Online TV News. Here's the news headlines. Kogi State drags EFCC to court over alleged aiding 19.3 billion naira, demands 35 billion naira damages. Properties worth millions of naira destroyed in a fire outbreak at Computer Village, Ikeja, Lagos. News in details after this short break. Stay tuned. Thinking of the most beautiful actresses in Africa, don't worry yourself much about it because I'm here to assist you through the most beautiful actresses in Africa. You're welcome to the program Celebrity Vibes with SC Omo on Radio Ojo and online television. Don't touch the dark. Welcome back. The Kogi State Government has dragged the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, ESCC, to court over allegations that it aid 19.3 billion naira bailout funds received from the federal government. The Accountant General of the state, Momo Jibri, and Commissioner for Finance, Budget, and Economic Planning, Asiwaju Makadam, were claimants in the suits, while the EFCC, Stelly Bank, and Central Bank of Nigeria were listed as defendants. The government of the state is demanding the sum of 35 billion naira only as damages against the first defendant for the defamatory publication made on November 19, 2021, which portrays fraud and misappropriation of public funds against the claimants. According to the courts, the motion on notice shall be aired on December 17, 2021. Properties worth millions of naira has been destroyed in a fire incident at 18 Otigba Street, Computer Village, Ikeja, Lagos. The radio Ojo and online TV gathered that the fire outbreak, which began in the early hour of Monday, engulfed a shopping complex, destroying goods and valuables. As at the time of filing this report, the cause of the fire incident was unknown. However, the prompt arrival of operatives of the fire service prevented the Ifenon from consuming other buildings. Confirming the incident, the spokesperson, Lagos State Police Command, CSP Adekule Ajise Butu, said policemen were drafted to the scene to protect the firefighters and others. He also stated that fire has been put out successfully and no life was lost in the incident. That ends the news update. I am Elizabeth Yusufu. Thanks for joining us. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell notification icon, follow us on Facebook or Instagram and we promise to eat you with the latest of news, gist and entertainment. Remember, it's Radio Ojo and Online TV. Stay safe.